Thank you for tuning into the Honey K podcast. My name is Honey K, and I'm from the Bronx. Child, I'm not going to give this story that much time of my life. This is a mess, okay? Originally, I was doing this just to bring awareness, but as I did research, I was like, are you kidding me? So, if you are not familiar, there is this new organization going around called the Stingy Men Association, child. And I'm going to read you some excerpts from this article. I'll link the article in the description. So, basically, an alleged network of men who are not willing to spend their money on women, wives, and girlfriends is what this organization consists of. The Stingy Men Association began in Zambia on social media after a man, Leonard Mwembe, was arrested for allegedly beating his wife after she asked for money to make her hair in November 2020. Mwembe repeatedly told his wife that he could not give her the however much it was. It says K-150. I don't know. I was trying to like transfer it into U.S. dollars, but it was like less than $10. So I was like, I don't know if I'm right. I'm not sure. But he told her she can give her a maximum of a certain amount. K-150, she wanted K-150, he said her, he, he said he could give her K-10, I don't know what these numbers are, but he was telling her, like, listen, I'm now a member of the Sinji Men Association of Zambia, S-M-A-Z. <laughs> so Mwembe was arrested after he beat his wife for asking, after he beat his wife for asking money to make her hair, and I guess make her hair is like to get her hair done, I don't know. I'll link the article, like I said. And this wife was treated at Indola Teaching Hospital, and she said it started like a joke. The mo- Their motto reads, let me see what I can do. Association members are supposed to give excuses whenever a woman asks for money from them. In their oath, it It says, I blank solemnly swear to uphold the dignity of this great association with due diligence to never give she she, I guess that's um, Zambian money, um, by any means of financial exploitation to the other gender to respect and uphold the constitution of this great association. So help me God. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Do not bring God into this. Okay. Do not bring God into your foolishness. And why it has to be just the other gender? Like this is men are gay. I'm just convinced that all men of the world are gay. But anyway, Um, Let's continue reading the article. To have a card, a new member is supposed to download the Stingy Men mobile app from the Google Play Store and fill in personal details from which an electronic card is generated. The Stingy Men mobile app had more than 10,000 downloads on Wednesday. I don't know when Wednesday was. In Kenya, the Stingy Men Association has taken men by storm ahead of the February 14th Valentine's Day. A mess. And then I came across this YouTube video on the topic, and it was like this Ghanaian, I think, some lady. And some of her comments, first of all, she was in in agreement with the association saying it'll teach women to make their own money. And some of the comments said, exactly, learn to be self dependent. We teaching them. Another comment said, I support Sinji men. The Sinjier men become, the more women will become empowered. It will kill the slave queen culture that is destroying society. Chow. It seems like a joke. Like, first of all, I found out about this association via Clubhouse. I'm on Clubhouse. I see the name. I'm thinking it's a joke. I enter the chat. I don't know what's going on. Like, (laughs) I left quietly. Like, I don't have time. Anyway, some idiot started this. And I think he started it as a joke. But some idiots followed and started taking it seriously. And I'm, first of all, disclaimer, I'm single, I'm not dating, I blocked every guy I've ever talked to, so this totally doesn't affect me, I don't get none of my money from men, but this overall is disgusting. First of all, y'all talk about, so help me God. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 5, verses 8, that, first of all, let me just quote it, let me pull it up so y'all can know exactly what it says.
It says, and I quote, certainly if anyone does not provide for those who are in his own and especially for those who are members of his household, he has disowned the faith and is worse than a person without faith. Okay, so basically you're despicable in the eyes of the God that you're asking help for him. Additionally, clearly these men, listen, if you want to be stingy, go ahead. I really don't care. Somebody in the world is going to be cool with it. Some idiot woman in the world is going to be cool with it. But as a general rule, women want a provider and men want beauty. So people want to be rid of roles in society so badly. But at the end of the day, where do you draw the line? Because... The world isn't and never will be fair. You can try to make it an even playing field all day, but if we, for example, eliminate gender from everything, like everybody's trying to do, and there's like a bas- there's basketball teams. We still have the sport of basketball, but it's going to be based on talent and skill. And most women won't have the chance to play, and they will that ones that can play today won't ever get to play if that was the case, because they would never be able to match up against men. Maybe we'll have like one or two women on the team, but it's many women that get to play today. It wouldn't go down because biologically, women carry more fat, men more naturally build and carry muscle. So that would just be how that plays out. But whatever, this is what y'all want. I really don't care. Overall, to me, this is stupid. But there are several stupid people in the world. That's the problem. (laughs) I don't even have an opinion. My opinion is to each his own. If you want a stingy man, there's a group. You can find one. If you want to become one, there's a group you can join. Y'all look super petty and super feminine with this group, in my opinion. But most women I know who make their own money buy things for their boyfriends and husbands all the time. Like, I don't even understand why this had to become a thing. And in a relationship where the man is the sole provider, they both had to agree to that. So, like, what's the problem? You want my hair to be done but you can't contribute to me getting my hair done okay you won't be the one for me and you definitely aren't the one for me because clearly the reason why this is soaring is because the man beat his wife this is the type of man that's in your society like ew who wants y'all and if you're a part of this organization why y'all got i have a couple questions why y'all gotta lie and make excuses? Why can't you just, if you a man, just say no. I'm not paying for you to get chair done. Why you gotta come up with excuses? Like in the article, it was like, oh, you're supposed to tell him, oh, I could do it next week. Oh, dang, I just paid all my bills. Like, just come up with some type of excuse. Why? Like, if you a man, just say no. And why y'all, what, what, what do y'all have to say about this man who was a part of y'all organization and beat up his wife because she wanted her hair done or his girlfriend, whatever it was? The whole group just looks weak and whack, but. As long as this is an African thing, this is really none of my, well, it's my business because I'm making it my business, but I'm not taking it personally. African women, this is y'all men that is embarrassing y'all, but at this point, it's just a select few, but clearly, like, like I said, there's a lot of stupid people in the world. It's a minority for now, but it probably could, you know, blow up. It might just be for attention. I don't know. This whole thing is stupid. Probably just a fad. Have you heard of this organization? Are you a part of this organization? How do you feel about it? Let me know in the comments if you're watching this on YouTube. On YouTube, I am K Honey. On Instagram, I am Honey K A Y. On YT, on all podcasting platforms, I'm Honey K A Y. So thanks for listening. Let me know what you think. Leave a like if you're in agreement. Leave a dislike if you're in disagreement. And let me know why. Enjoy your day.